welcome to walk on the entire way back giving the best of the best and the real of the real y'all it's been a very 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 long time since i said that I haven't made a video since january but i'm back and better and plus one if you didn't know i just had a baby but we're here we're ready to get into all updates and let's just jump right into it the queen of dance hall has brought back her show spice it up which will be premiering on youtube and they have a very exciting guest including wayne marshall and his wife tammy chin as well as conscience check on youtube for that but spice has also had something interesting in her life as of right now she has a new love interest and yeah watch rasta missy rasta girl yeah and she's really head over heels about him check out this new video <laughs> Shaggy has released his new album just in time for the holidays called Christmas in the Islands, which features various different artists, including Sanchez, Shancia, Omi, Richie Stevens, Romaine Virgo, and so much more. He even just dropped a new video with Ding Dong and international RB artist Neo. Check this out. Unruly Boss Popcorn received two Billboard plaques for his album Vanquish and Fix Tape, both topping the charts at the number two reggae album chart. International Stardom doesn't stop there. Meg Thee Stein released her new album Good News, which features Popcorn on the album for their song Intercourse. Tell you that it was the time. Your vagina so tiny Only I fool any time you are in Pops cola fuck your grimy Lock it up in the back of the a few days ago on Instagram, Bounty Killer stated that he will be releasing his new album on 2021 called Kings of Kingston. We'll definitely be looking forward to that. Chimney Records are making a new statement in dance hall by signing with Sony Records. Congratulations to them. Agent Sasko released a new album called Sasko vs. Assassin, which features various different artists. He even has a song on there called Sasko vs. Assassin. You can check that out on all digital platforms. Shensia and management are blamed for the uptick on corona cases in Florida, but Ramesh begs to defer. And he states, we are artists, we are management, and we get booked. If someone books us for a show and we ask them if it's okay for the show to be kept in their area and they approve of it, I don't see we're doing anything illegal. First of all, the promoter got his permit and a lot of police was at the venue working. While we may not be clear if BRT and Chensia's performance may have caused the uptick, but we do know that it's an individual responsibility of everyone to stay safe. But that is it for Walk On Dancehall. Tune in next week for more Dancehall Entertainment.